What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike back at it again with another video. This video is going to be a solid video for just about any type of investor and it's an investment that everybody I feel as though should make. This type of investment is actually one of my favorite types of investments and it's actually an investment in your retirement because when you retire you actually want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your life with no worries. So if you take care of this type of investment and make this type of investment a priority in your life then I can almost 100% guarantee you that you'll retire with a decent amount of money that you'll be pretty happy with and that you won't have to worry about money ever again once you actually do go and retire. So let's not waste your time any longer because I don't do that on the channel. This type of investment is a Roth IRA. Let's get right into the video. Let's go. So in this video, I'm actually going to tell you guys about a Roth IRA. I'm actually going to show you guys the benefits of having a Roth IRA and actually just show you guys my Roth IRA because that makes a lot of sense, right? And you can get a Roth IRA with just about any brokerage now or any major brokerage. So we'll get into all that in this video. But first, but first, but first, quick plugs. Make sure you drop a like on this video because that's the easiest way to help more people see the channel. Simply dropping that like pushes this video out to more people so more people can see this and more people can invest their money and make more money in the long term. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can stay in tune with all the videos I make just like this and other videos on the channel. And also check out my links down below because they'll get yourself some free stocks. You'll get a free stock of Robinhood, two free stocks with Weeble right now, another free stock with Doe. You'll get a free $10 if you sign up for M1 Finance. You'll get a free $5 if you sign up for Acorns, which we're going to talk about in this video, and some other stuff down there that'll get you even more free stuff. So just check out those links down below, watch the videos to them respectively, and you can get some free stuff because it's free. So why not? you know, grab some free stuff. Either way, let's talk about a Roth IRA. So about a year ago on this channel, I actually made a video talking about different retirement accounts. I talked about a Roth IRA, a traditional IRA, and a 401k through your actual job or your employer or wherever. In really simple terms with all the details, a 401k is basically a retirement account that's provided through your job, and your job will actually contribute a little bit of money going towards your retirement account, which you can then withdraw when you turn about 59 and a half. For a 401k retirement account, a percentage of whatever you put in, your job's gonna put in as well. So if you contribute money to your 401k, from your job, then they'll also match that percentage up to a certain amount that'll go into your retirement account, which you can then withdraw when you turn 59 and a half or 61. It all depends on the parameters of that retirement account for that respective job. A traditional IRA is a little bit different from the 401k. With the 401k, you and your employer are actually gonna contribute money that goes towards your retirement account. With a traditional IRA, only you yourself is gonna contribute money to go towards your retirement account. That money that you contribute to your traditional IRA will also be pre-tax income. So let's say your paycheck is $1,000 and you take $200 of your paycheck and it'll go towards your traditional IRA. None of that $200 that you sent to your IRA will be taxed and you'll actually be taxed on that money once you go and take it out after you retire at 59 and a half, 61, whatever the age may be. So with the 401k, you and your job contribute money to your retirement account and that'll be pre-tax income. For the traditional IRA, only you will actually contribute money to your retirement account and that'll also be pre-tax as well. So like I said before, once you go and take that money out after you retire, you'll then have to pay taxes on that. The last one is a Roth IRA, which is basically the same thing as a traditional IRA, but there's one key difference. With the Roth IRA retirement account, all the money that you contribute to that retirement account is already done for after tax. So if I got paid $1,000 on my check and they took my taxes out of that check, you know, state and federal taxes, anything I contribute after I already received my full paycheck that goes to my Roth IRA is already taxed out. So if I want to take money out of my Roth IRA at any time, I can do that and no penalty. With a traditional and a 401k, there'll be penalties for both of those. Now that we have a basic understanding of what a traditional Roth and 401k is, I actually want to show you guys a website that I use that could give you a rough estimate of how much you could possibly have when you actually go and retire. So let's actually go to that website right now. I'm going to put it up on my phone right here and we can do just that. So we're on Google right now. Let's go ahead and type in compound interest calculator and I've actually typed this in before because I go to this website all the time we're gonna go ahead and click on the second link which is from moneychimp.com we're gonna click on that and you'll see this little calculator right here pop up let me zoom out just a bit so we can get a better view I could do this on my desktop but it's just on my phone so why not we can just check it on my phone either way in my Roth IRA right now at this very moment we have or I guess I you could say I have three thousand three hundred sixty three dollars in that account so that would be my current principal. So that is exactly how much I have in my account right now. If we go ahead and click on annual addition, annual addition will basically be the amount of money that you're gonna add to your Roth IRA or whatever IRA or whatever you're planning on investing in every single year. So annual means year. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in $6,000. 
$6,000 is actually the maximum you can contribute to a Roth IRA at the age that I'm at. I believe if you're over the age of 50 or 55, then you can contribute $7,000 every single year. But the max right now for me at the age I'm at, which is 24, is $6,000 every single year. So I'm gonna go ahead and contribute the maximum, which is $6,000 every single year. And then the next option is years to grow. For years to grow, I'm gonna say 40 years. So in 40 years, I'll be 60, what, 64? And I'll probably, you know, retire way before that. But, you know, for the example of this video, we'll just say I retire at a 60 age of 64, which is honestly kind of late. But, you know, some people retire that late and still don't really have any money in their account. So it is what it is. Past that, we're going to do interest rate. Now, the average amount of money that a person makes in the stock market every single year is somewhere between 5 to 7%. So let's go ahead and say I'll get a 6% return on my $6,000 investment every single year plus the principal that I already have in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the compound interest 12 times annually. So that basically means I'll get compound interest on my money once a month, essentially. And we'll go ahead and click the button that is called calculate. So as you can see right now, if I get a 6% return on my money and consistently invest the same amount of money every single year for 40 years straight, when I retire, I'll have $1,037,574.01 in my retirement account at the age of 64. And this is on a average return every single year. Imagine if I got an 8% return. Well, you don't really have to imagine it because I can just go ahead and plug it in. So imagine I got an 8% return every single year. Let's see what the calculation is at. That's $1.8 million. Let's see if I got a 10% return every single year on my money, which is kind of, kind of it's definitely above average, but it's not impossible. 10% return, $3.3 million by the age of 64. And we can cut this down. Let's do 37 years. You know, this I'll be what? 37 years, I'll be uh, what? 61? You know, I'm not, I'm not terribly good at math. But yeah, 37 years, <laughs> I'll be like 61 or something like that. And that's $2.4 million on a 10% interest rate or a 10% annual return. Now, like I said before, that is above average. Normally it's five to 7%. So let's go ahead and change this back to 40, 40 years. And let's go ahead and lower this to actually that 5% rate. Let's say I get the lowest rate or just about the lowest rate every single year for 40 years straight. How much will then be in my retirement account after 40 years when I turn the age of 64. At that age, it would then be $790,000. Now let's just say instead of an investment account, which is what your retirement account is, it is an investment account. So it will be invested into stocks, bonds, ETFs, whatever, you know, index funds, all kind of good stuff. That's where your retirement account is. But let's just say I put this money into a savings account and let's see what we get. So in my savings account right now, it would be $3,363, still tossing the $6,000 yearly, and I would still save for 40 years. On the savings account, you're not going to get a big interest rate. So obviously the interest rate for the savings account is going to be 0.01%, which is uh, terrible, but we already knew that. And if you guys need a good savings account, make sure you go and check out my Yada Savings video. But let's just say I put all this money into a savings account instead of tossing it into an investment account and earning myself at least 5% a year. Let's just see how much money would be in this account by the time I turn 64. Run it. $243,000. That's quite terrible don't you think it's 200 i mean would you rather would you rather have two hundred and forty three thousand dollars or seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars on the low end i mean come on what what kind of question is that and that's like i said seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars is the low end if i got a higher rate of return which as you can tell i just put the numbers in i got what 1.2 million 2.4 million 3.3 million on returns in some instances it all comes down to your return every single year so if you can invest your money and put it away until you retire with a good decent return every single year then you'll definitely retire a millionaire you don't have to really do anything for it except for just put that money away annually if we go on over to my Robinhood account i'm just going to do a quick screenshot of my account right now the past year i had a 60 percent return now a 60 percent return is extremely unlikely especially in a retirement account but if you actually go and trade freely in your retirement account then you can get a 60 percent return this is only for one single year imagine getting a 60 percent return every single year. I mean, you would be a, what, a billionaire in a couple years. It wouldn't even take that long. But the average person really doesn't get a 60% return every single year. Regardless, the point still stands. Even if I got an 8% return, that's still crazy insane when it comes to me going to retire because that'll still put me in a bracket where it's like, what, $2.4 million when I retire? I'm gonna be good with that. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be good with my $2.4 million just sitting in my account when it comes to when I retire. Now, where do I actually have my Roth IRA stored? My Roth IRA is actually with the app called Acorns. So we're gonna go open that up, face ID, and we are in. Good evening, Michael. You're saving and investing $3,671.16 
for your future. If you guys don't know what Acorns is, it's basically one of the best passive investing investing apps that you could have on your phone. And I highly recommend everybody go and grab Acorns. I've been using Acorns um, for what, four or five years now. And it was actually my first jump into investing. This is when I knew absolutely nothing about investing. But as you can see now from the channel and everything, I think I got to kind of got it under control, you know. Either way, as you can see in my investment account for Acorns, just my general investing account, I have $307. I did at one point have a little bit over five, six thousand dollars, but I took that money out and actually put it in Robinhood. I actually made a great return on my money from Acorns, about 20% in the past year, but I knew I could make even more if I put it in Robinhood, so I did just that. With my later account, which is actually my retirement account, that's what we're gonna be focused on today. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on later starts today and click on my retirement account. So my retirement account with Acorns is actually a Roth IRA, as I mentioned before. And as you can see, your later account value is $3,363.53. Acorns uses their own preset portfolios for you. So my portfolio is actually age-based, which is the aggressive portfolio. So 55% of my money will go into large company stocks, 10% will go into medium company stocks, and then 5% of it will go into small company stocks, and then another 30% will go into international company stocks. Like I mentioned before, you don't actually get to choose your particular investments that you put your money into with Acorns, but they do give you these pretty solid portfolios, and all these portfolios have made me a decent amount of money, so I can't really complain on them. If I go back, you can actually see that I have a recurring investment set on my Acorns account or my Acorns later account for $16 every single day. That is roughly $6,000 every single year. But let's go to the calculator just to prove that because, you know, sometimes, like I said before, the math is off. So 16 times 365 is $5,840. So then on the last day of this year, I'll go ahead and put the extra $160 into my Acorns account, which will basically give me the maximum I can actually contribute, which is $6,000 every single year. If I scroll down some on the Acorns app again, it'll show me my recent activity. We can click view all and see that I have total contributed dividends, amount withdrawn, which is nothing, contributed in 2020, because that's when I actually started, and then contributed in 2021. It'll just show you all your contributions that you've made. We go back once again, scroll down even further, we'll see the balance breakdown, which is right there. And you'll also see the performance, which is below that. So all in all, since I've had my retirement Roth account open, I've made 24% of a return. Imagine that every single year. Now, it probably won't be but who knows? Imagine, like I said before, imagine that 8% return, go ahead and multiply that by 40 years with a $6,000 annual put in basically, and you're gonna have a lot of money in this account when it comes to retire. Funny enough, Acorns can actually give you a potential of what you might make when you go and retire. So if I go back once again and click all the way in the top right corner, you can see this is your potential. I can then go ahead and change it to my leader account at the top. And you can see if I drag it, you can see at the age of 64, it's sitting at $966,000. We can go ahead and drag this bar to wherever we want it to be to see the overall return. So sitting at the age of 30, that's $46,000. Sitting at the age of 40, that's what? $163,000. And we keep going, we keep going, you know, it's naturally going to go up. But obviously, the more you contribute and the better return you get, the higher the number will be when you actually go and retire. So let's quickly dive into what's actually covered in my Acorns portfolio. As I mentioned before, 55% of my Roth IRA is going to large company stocks. So that is company companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, and Google. Roughly 55 cents of every dollar invested will purchase large company stocks VOO. This ETF provides investors with exposure to 500 of the largest US companies, basically the S&P 500. 55% of my money will go directly into the S&P 500, which will in turn overall make me some money. 10% will then go into medium company stocks, and those stocks are companies like GNRQ, Penn National Gaming, Caesars Entertainment, Solar Edge, Monolith Power Systems, and Conex Corporation. Roughly 10% of every dollar invested will purchase medium company stocks, which is IJH, and that's the ticker symbol. So if you want to just go and buy these, maybe on Robinhood, on Vanguard, wherever you invest in, then there's a ticker symbol for you right there, and you can do just that. 5% of the money I contribute to my Roth IRA will then go into small company stocks, and those are XSTLA, MSTR, which is MicroStrategy, you guys know, one of my favorites, DDD, which is 3D Systems, Neogenomics, I think I said that right, Neogenomics, Calvert, cool, cool. I always want to say Calvert Cliffs. It's Cleveland Cliffs, cool, Cleveland, wow. Cleveland Cliffs, because we're not doing, we're doing six takes here, and Proto Labs Inc., 5% or roughly five cents of every dollar invested will purchase small company stocks, or the ticker symbol is I. 
J R. Lastly, the last 30% of my money will go into international company stocks. So that's TSM, which you guys know TSM. They actually used to make iPhone chips now, but I think Apple is kind of branching away from that and having doing their own in-house thing with Apple Silicon, which is cool. Either way, they're still making big money with TSM. Tencent Holdings, Alibaba, which you know, they kind of been some stuff right now, but it's definitely a great time to still get into Alibaba if you want to get into them. Cool stuff. Samsung Electronics, which uh, I'm, not, I'm not really a big Samsung fan, but you know, their TVs are great. Um, Nestle and Roach, is that how you say it? Roach, or we're just gonna go with R H H B Y or Roach Holding A G. Roughly 30 cents of every dollar invested will purchase international company stocks. I X U S is the ticker. So that is exactly what a Roth IRA is. That is my Roth IRA account through Acorns, but you can go ahead and get a Roth IRA account through a whole bunch of different brokers. And I can give you some of the names right here. We got Betterment, SoFi, Ally Invest, E-Trade, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and Merle Edge. Either way, a Roth IRA or basically any retirement account that I just mentioned to you guys not too long ago, it'll be a great investment going forward. It'll be a great investment for yourself, especially in the long term. Because like I mentioned before, you want to actually retire with some freedom. If you can just walk around and just be like, yeah, I got a couple million in my retirement account I can take a couple thousand out every single month and do whatever I want to do with that's enough to do basically anything you want to do I don't know how much money you really need I'm not sure you can let me know how much money you need every single month down in the comment section below but overall I only need a couple thousand every single month so if I can get 2.4 million in my retirement account I can probably take out 5,000 maybe 6,000 every single month and honestly that's more than I'm making right now so if I can do that, then I'll be pretty happy in retirement. I'm just saying, I'll go and travel. I kind of do that now, or I want to, but you know, it's a whole pandemic outside, so we can't do too much. But you get the point. It won't be around, or hopefully, it won't be around in 40 years or whenever I do decide to retire. But if I can help you guys, you know, get to that point where you want to actually retire, easy income, passive income, and you don't have to worry about a thing, then why not? Either way, check out a Roth IRA, check out a traditional IRA, check out your 401k with the, whatever job you're working with now because they definitely have one. And they don't, then you need to find another job because they, they need to have a 401k for you. And they also need to be contributing to your 401k because if they're not contributing any money to your 401k, then like I said, you need to find another job. Look, they need to, they need to be paying you more because this is your life. You know, you only get one. So just take advantage of the knowledge, do some more research because I didn't explain everything regarding a retirement account in this video, but I feel like I gave you a basic gist. And if you're interested in more, definitely comment in the comment section down below and we can talk about it more or I can make another video about it basically. And that's kind of it. This is going to be a definitely a long video, but it's okay because the content is the content. I got to provide you with some of the best content. And this is a highly requested video. So here we are talking about it. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.